Greetings once again. It's Chris and welcome to my loyal vault. Uh, this week I, uh, I wanted to, you know, I got a phone call from my friend Clayton. He has an amazing band called Cell Dweller. You can check them out at celldweller.com. He's also going to be a guest here on the show. He provides a lot of music uh, for a lot of the shows here. He's an amazing, talented artist. And uh, it just made me think of, well, the days that we started out together in the 90s. And uh, I put out a bunch of uh, CDs and we wrote them together. Uh, we had the trilogy, which is a three, DD, three uh, CD set, um, the soundtrack for Mind Freak, and then, of course, uh, my Mind Freak on Broadway, Broadway and 43rd uh, soundtrack. So, a bunch of stuff, like five CDs out there. So, I thought it would be really fitting, and he'd get a kick out of this, if I showed a music video that we put together for a show called MTV uh, Exposed. And I hosted it with Matt Pinfield, great guy, two hour special. And uh, they said that they would play a music video. And we had a really good song called Come Alive. And uh, it was off the, uh, well, the Chris Angel, uh, I think it's Musical Conjuring CD. In any event, we did a music video. And the costumes that you see, I literally made with uh, cassette tape, um, fishnet stockings that were ripped up, um, motocross pads, uh, bondage gear, you name it, it was all there, whatever was cheap. So take a look at this music video entitled Come Alive from 1998. <laughs> Man, that's trippy. And that microphone stand, here it is in my office. Uh, and it's crazy because, again, this costs like five cents to make, or well, maybe 50. In any event, what's really, really fascinating about Come Alive, which came out, I believe, in 1998, is that we thought it really took electronic music, Clayton, which he was really uh, ahead of his time, 
and my sensibility for commercial music and we kind of meshed it together and created this like sound and I think we were probably a little ahead of ourselves because we tried to get a record deal from Jason Flom over at uh, Lava or Atlantic Records and others and we just couldn't get it done and uh, Linkin Park came out with their first album which everybody thought sounded like our stuff four years prior but Linkin Park made all the money. We didn't. But in any event, you know, everything happens for a reason. It wasn't meant to be. But uh, Come Alive, I think it's a great song. It still holds up. And if you don't have the album, you gotta get it. It's the Chris Angel um, C uh, System One in the trilogy. Get it now. See you next week. God bless.